What's up, guys? This is another episode of Orange Slice. We're talking about the latest in digital marketing and web design. The latest. The latest and greatest. And today we're going to focus in on a couple myths that lawyers might have about marketing and how you can get around them. I'm Brennan. I'm Dave. Let's get into it. All right, so lawyers tend to spend a lot of money on marketing. Tons. Tons. And why do they do that? Because they're told they need to. Okay. Because when, all the myths and all the stuff that goes around on the internet that says do this and half of it doesn't work. All right, half of it doesn't work. How do they know that? Well, I think the biggest part of that would be like, what are you receiving from whatever you're doing? Are you talking about like AdWords and all of organic it. or all, all of it? it? Okay. All of it combined. If if you're out there spending a ton of money, um, you know, and, and you're not tracking what you're getting from it, you don't know what you're getting from it, um, and you keep trying all these new things, and you know, you'll you'll see these myths on the internet. You know, why you should invest more in AdWords, why you should invest in social media, why you should uh, invest all this money in your website, and a lot of times, yeah, you should. Um, a lot of people will invest money into something and not realize that they have a lot of other inherent problems. Uh, so today we're going to talk about some of the myths. Yeah, of course. And, uh, and today we're going to talk about some of the things you should do and also a lot of the things you shouldn't do or a lot of the ways that you shouldn't think. It's not necessarily always about action. It's about a way of thinking about your marketing. You did bring up social media first, so let's start there. Sure. So I would think that it's awkward for law firms to think, oh, you got to invest time making Facebook and Twitter posts and whatnot. So where's the sure, advantage yeah. for them or the, the, the hang up? So a big myth on social media is like you should post every single day. Right. Right. I'm going to post, post, post. I'm going to consistency, gonna, consistency, right? Consistency is great. As long as you are consistently posting good things, you know, if you're saying like, let, let's say for example, you're an accident lawyer. If you're just saying, Hey, I'm an accident lawyer. Hey, I'm an accident lawyer. Hey, I'm an accident lawyer. Okay. We got it the first time. Right. Right. What, what kind of value are you really providing anyone? Um, let's just say that you actually, you're a car accident lawyer and you get a lot of settlements. Why wouldn't you post one of the settlement amounts if, it's a, if it was a good one? Why right. wouldn't you post some of the things that talk about, hey, this was a difficult case and here's why. Here's how we you know, were able to prevail uh, against you know something that didn't really look like it was a, a winning case. Right. It's like because if I was hit by a food truck and didn't think I, would, I had a case, right? And then I see the lawyer on Facebook, right, had a food truck case. Yeah, sure it is. Or or any type of case. I mean, there, there's, you know, we talked about this before in like content building, mm -hmm. right? So when you're when you're building content, does it make sense to where you're just gonna say, all right, well, I only do personal injury law. Okay, what all does that cover? Right. There's right. a million different ways. Did you hurt your finger, your wrist, your elbow, your neck, your head? Uh, how was that done? Were you in a car accident? Were you in a slip and fall? Did you fall off somebody's deck because it was you know, uh, not constructed properly? Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about that. Uh, so when you're talking about like posting on social media, there's so many different things that you can post about that would actually have value, not just saying, hey, look at me, here's what I do. So I guess the myth behind that is don't post junk every day. Don't post junk, so what should you be posting? Things that people will care about. Unique things that make your firm uh, stand out. Dollar signs. Well, dollar signs for sure. I mean, awareness in a sense is, is valuable uh, ad spend or, or time spent. You know, if you're, if you're posting yourself, if you're spending your time, think of that as your time as money. Do you really want to just say, hey, I'm a personal injury lawyer 20 times in different ways? Does that really make sense? Or, you know, to a user that you talked about a food truck, you know, how many other examples are there to where you could talk about a unique type of case that you uh, that you were successful in? Um, and maybe even some of the failures. Like if you say that we weren't able to obtain a settlement for this case, maybe that could weed out right. some of the other ones that are coming your way because it's just not something that is, is obtainable for, for a client. And right. let them know that you know this isn't a, a case type that you want to pursue. Absolutely. So we'll we'll definitely be talking about uh, mm -hmm. paid social media marketing in a different video. Mm -hmm. But what about uh, you know AdWords for Google? And Big I, a lot there. of lawyers want to throw a lot of money onto there because they want something to stick. We made a video about that. We did make a video about. We that. did make a video about but that. To, to recap, yeah. why should or shouldn't lawyers drop? I don't know what ten. 
twenty thousand dollars. Oh, it's um, usually a month. more. Yeah, it's usually more. It, like the the smaller firms will spend like less than ten k, and usually it's very focused. Or they but spend the, more to try and catch up. Yeah, sometimes not successfully. Well, we're talking I think, about miss Yeah, your your so. your point, I think that you were trying to make was, you know, there's something going on with AdWords that people don't understand in terms of miss, right? Mm -hmm. And a big myth on that would be, you have to spend more in in order to obtain more leads. Now, right. in our last video, uh, well, actually the one before last, we'll leave a, a link for that in the description. We talked about like how to maximize AdWords, like how do you go about that? And we're not going to reiterate everything we said in that video. You know, if you're interested in that, take a look at the other ones. Uh, it goes into it in a lot more detail. But a myth of saying that you know you need to spend more to get more is not always the case. You could spend a lot more and get the same or less. Uh, if you're spending more, does everything around that back it up? So if I'm saying, I think the biggest comment that I said before was. If you're spending 20k in marketing, don't send them back to a 5k site. Right. It's gonna, it's, it's not gonna be effective. You could spend 40k, maybe get, you know, a few more leads, but the experience is still the same. You're not fixing the inherent problem. Uh, I think that really, not not just for lawyers, but for any business. You know, if if, if your experience of all these things connected and what you're wanting people to interact with is really crap, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you know. Showcase in, in any kind of ad spend, you know, whether it's on Facebook or AdWords, showcase what makes your brand or your business or your firm the absolute best. When you're posting on social media and you're boosting posts, don't boost a post that's just some random thing. Make sure there's a focus to it. You know, if you are having like a testimony or something like that, boost that one because it shows a real person talking to you and it shows that you're a real person, not just you know that the head on the billboard or, or the pretty picture on the front page of the site interacting with someone and talking about uh, a case result that you got for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, as you said, <laughs> dumping a lot of money into ads can go both ways, especially if you're doing it effectively. That right. actually makes sense. But on the flip side of that, people don't want to spend all this money on AdWords all the time. Mm -hmm. What they want to accomplish, nine times out of ten, is organic ranking. And a lot of lawyers look at that and say, oh, this guy and this guy are winning in my city, and so there's no, there's way to no beat that. chance. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, to establish you know, the myth would be that you know, organic uh, presence, visibility, uh, winning in organic search is more difficult for law firms than it is for any other business. Um, that's not necessarily true. There's definitely more competition at a higher level due to having most firms having a marketing company mm -hmm. work, working with them. So, so you're talking like local SEO? Like sure, sure, yeah, exactly. So, or even national, you know, depending mm -hmm. upon what, what type of cases you take and where you take them. My, my point is that, let, let's say for example, you have a, uh, an HVAC company, right? Or, or a different type of business than a law firm, right? Uh, roofer. Roofer, roofer. All right, we'll say roofer. So your roofer is not always gonna compete against other marketing companies doing their own SEO, he may run into the occasional one that's a higher level client that is obviously winning in that area that right. is working with a marketing company. So they're probably gonna have a tougher time because you yourself are going at this alone trying to market your site, whereas this other company has a team of people behind it. Uh, with lawyers, generally it's not lawyer versus lawyer, it's going to be marketing company versus marketing company, right? Oh. Who, who has the best- Like threat? we don't know about that. Like we, well we <laughs> do know about that, yeah, and we win a lot of those too. Um, I would say we win more than we lose for sure. So when you're, when you're talking about a, a law firm versus a law firm, it's not always gonna be you know, a firm versus a firm, right. it's, it's marketing company versus marketing company. So is, is, one, is, is a law firm more difficult to obtain organic rankings? Maybe a little bit in certain aspects, mm -hmm. just because you're you're going up. You know, if, if you're an expert, you're potentially going up against other experts. But really, the process is no different. Um, you know, you're going to have to have the maximum amount of qualified backlinks. You're going to have to have the right amount of citations. The reviews. The reviews. You're going to have to have the right branding. You're going to have to establish yourself as the as the expert. You're going to have to have a very nice, clean. Uh, lead generation funnel. You know, if it's coming from AdWords, where do I send them? How do they sign up? How do I track that? How do I track my ROI? If you're using Facebook, the same thing. If you're coming for organic, the same thing. Um, you, you really need to understand uh, that it's not necessarily more difficult. It just can take more time, and you have to do things at a higher level, which is not necessarily more difficult. It's just more time consuming for organic. I've got a question for, organic. for you. Sure. So, say I'm a new law firm. I just want to add. That's often why you see lawyer organic campaigns 
that are cost that cost more than like your HVAC or your a different industry because uh -huh. of the time involved. It's not necessarily oh, yeah, difficulty. Yeah. It's just uh, getting over that hump. Mm -hmm. You were saying, but okay. So say I'm a new law firm. I just got out of school. Right. I got some cash to throw down to start my new firm. Mm -hmm. Where do I put my efforts? If you're a brand new one, yeah. And we get these calls sure. all the time. No, from completely. Guys and my advice would be to to put that money into the place where in the future you're going to send everyone. But I, I need money now. Right. You probably already have some type of referral network which has mm -hmm. allowed you to go out on your own and, and start your own The firm. big guys give me the crap cases and sure. I build up from there. Could be. Which happens to everybody. That's could, it, it could be. So if you're starting out on your own and in, you, let's say you were a partner somewhere or you're, you're, you, you were an attorney at another firm, now you're on your own. The value is always going to be in where everyone is going to check out your reputation. Mm -hmm. They're going to verify and validate that you are who you say you are, and you do get the case results that you say you get. Um, that's also which I'm what I'm saying with all this: the website, right? Make sure you invest at the very foundation of where everything is going to end up anyway. Start um, strong. Start strong there. Let's say you have a fine law profile. Let's say you have an AVO profile. Let's say you have a Facebook page. Let's those say are, you have Google Maps. Those can get expensive though. They can, but what I'm saying is, what do all of those platforms, even though they're different by name, have in common? They give you a follow link. They all link back to your site. Yeah. So no matter where anybody finds you, it's always gonna link back to the same place. I don't wanna get too off topic from all right. the different myths that we were talking about, but it, Based upon the example, I would say that would need to be where you would invest. All right. So definitely, just to recap what we were discussing, mm -hmm. social media for lawyers, it's not something you need to pursue hardcore all Don't the time. Don't post crap every Don't day. Don't post crap every day. If you're going to post every day, make sure it's relevant, make sure it's good information, and the easiest way to find out, I don't know if it's good, would you read it? Right. If you read it, do you want to do anything after reading it? Do you want to click? Do you want to learn more? Do you want to hire this person? Do you inquire about this person? Right. And that's the difference between um, seeing a post by a lawyer that says, hey, I got $6 million for a Roundup cancer case versus yeah. uh, Rottweiler bit my daughter. You know, because someone both might relevant. That. They're both relevant, yeah. I mean, one is obviously a different focus. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think the bigger number of cases are, are more flashy. It's going to get you more attention. Mm -hmm. I think people are going to pay uh, attention to that. It's like, you know, let, let's, by example, let's say you know, on Family Feud, somebody won two grand mm -hmm. versus somebody wanting a hundred grand. Whoa, hundred grand's really cool. Two grand's like, eh. Big difference. Right, it's a big difference. But, you know, the fact that somebody won two grand could also entice somebody that says, hey, I don't have any grand, so I'm going to go sign up to be on Family Feud. You know, there, there's a, there's, what I'm trying to say, with a strange example, admittedly, is that there, there's, there's a place for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. I would rather you post a two grand case rather than a, I'm an injury lawyer every single day. Right, no, right? it makes sense. I, I got a $2,000 them. I got a $10,000, I got a $100,000, I got a million dollars, whatever the case may be, post that. You know, make sure that you're showcasing we are an active firm or I'm an active individual, attorney or lawyer. I'm constantly doing things for people. And you know, when somebody leaves you a review, when somebody uh, interacts with your firm positively in any kind of way, highlight that. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, so that covers the social media aspect of it, which we'll get into in a future video, I'm sure. We, we have got, we one, one coming plan. up soon. We're That's right. very excited for that. We are excited. Um, I'm excited, you're so, excited? Oh, I'm very excited. Cool. So, so A, it's, Social media, important, don't overdo it. Make sure you know what you're doing. That's why you have Don't waste start. your time. Don't waste your time. Because it shouldn't be- And important. don't waste anybody else's time. Exactly. Because no one wants to see something random and just ignore it or scroll past it. Right. Um, and then you also got into how organic ranking isn't impossible for these smaller guys out there. Not at all. It's, it's, it's not impossible in this myth that you need to, you know, that it's impossible or is going to take an extremely long time uh, is not always mm -hmm. the case. Uh, now, granted, if you're in a major city and there's major marketing companies that are fighting with one another, you know, on behalf of you know a, a, a law firm, it, it's going to take you a bit longer just because you're going to have to play catch up to that. You know, you're not going to immediately jump ahead of them, and, and Google's not going to immediately establish you as the leader in, right. in a month, uh, even if you were to outdo all of their efforts in one month. Right. Yeah. Right. If you double everything everybody else had, pack, it's it's gonna gotta, take a minute. They're gonna have to understand what you're doing. Exactly. Um, but it's not necessarily more difficult. It is more time consuming. Um, 
it is potentially going to be more competitive and you're going to have a lot of people that are vying for that top spot because look at the rewards. Exactly. Yeah. You know, if, if you're the number one truck accident guy, everybody wants to be that person, right? You're always going to have people fighting for you. Well, yeah, no, everyone wants to be in that uh, map pack. That too, that too. Which is very, very difficult. But it's not impossible, and that's what a lot of uh, younger, sure. smaller firms don't understand is that, well, there's this firm that's on the side of buses and billboards that I can never compete against, but right. you can, because the way that people find sure. lawyers these days is I, by typing in, I need a lawyer. I'd like to add phone. something to that. Sure. Generally, when you see those big firms that are on the side of the buses or on the billboards, I mean, that's, sure, that's great advertising, right? But will they always remember that? Like the idea is that if I'm everywhere, everybody will always remember me. That's, that's not necessarily mm -hmm. true. Generally, those larger firms that have those old type of methods of advertising, and I'm not saying this because we're biased, you know, we, we have connections to where we can put people on side of buses or billboards and everything else. It's just not always the best way to go about it. Generally, those big firms fail miserably in organic search. Right. Right? Oh, they no, might show up on system. page one, but there's smaller firms or hungry firms or more aggressive firms that are killing them because they're, they're so diluted in their efforts. They're, they're everywhere. Anyway, back to your point, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. And uh, we really hope that younger, hungry firms out there understand that web is the way to go when it comes to marketing themselves and getting, you know, not ahead of the pack, but part of it. You can actually prove that. Yeah, so like, let's, if you want to say that, that we're making the claim, essentially, that, that web is going to be the, the end-all, be our big portion of that, um, try it. Start using, you know, different URLs. So on your billboard, you know, have domain.com forward slash ad or forward slash whatever text mm -hmm. you want to put there. You can actually see that in, in, in AdWord, or excuse me, in Analytics as a referral, right? People will enter into that page. Uh, and you'll see that your organic traffic is always going to be higher than that billboard number. Right. Because your advertising spend uh, and the number that you get from that is generally going to be higher from uh, an or, uh, online source such as AdWords or Facebook or something like that. Right. And at the end of the day, what most, you know, especially personal injury lawyers are looking for is, mm -hmm. holy crap, I was just in a car accident. I need a lawyer right now. Right. And, and, and that, whoever comes up first, usually who whoever, is in an ad people will click on yes. and call them. Yes, well, I, I would argue against the ad because some people don't know the difference. People will click on whatever comes up. Box, yeah. they, they don't even know it. I've, I've had to show that to people many times, like, hey, mm -hmm. here's this box, you know what this means? They're like, no, isn't that just a Google search? I'm like, no, that's an no, ad. Yeah. And there's a, there's a reason why Google makes that little ad box really small. They want it to appear organic. And lawyers are paying 70 bucks a click for those. Depending on what the keyword is. They don't have to, though. They don't have to, because that's what I'm Just, for just yesterday, I was going through a campaign, and the average recommended cost per click was $96. Over the past six months, due to the quality score, which we talk about in another video. Link below. Link below. Uh, I was able to get that down to 42 per click consistently for the past six months. So that's twice the clicks for the same cost. Much less, yeah. It's, it, I mean, $96 or 42 what would you rather pay? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, there's ways of going about it that are smarter rather than just dumping money into it. Um, you know, that was the other point that, that we made earlier on is like you just have to constantly sink money into this stuff. If you're doing that, you're, on, you're either wasting a ton of money or you're not going to be in business very long. Right. Um, there, that's not the way to go about it. You have to think about it intelligently. We can show you the ways that we do it here, we'd be more than happy to. Uh, give us a call, uh, visit our website, submit a form to create an appointment. Generally all appointments, or at least the initial phone call, are handled within the first 24 hours. Um, I wanna show somebody just... Uh, oh, it's fun. I mean, it we, sucks we, because we, like we they... We really enjoy it. Oh yeah, it, it sucks because like, I don't wanna show them like how much money they're wasting, but I do wanna show them how much money they can save. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sell me a... Sell me a broken car right now. That's, no, I, yeah, no, so I don't agree. No, it's 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 true. I mean, I, I I don't like glorifying like here's where you're wasting mm -hmm. all this money, but it's like here's what we could be doing with this. Here's all the ways that you're having. I, I think uh, what happens problems. is that most people who contact us, we're their second or third rodeo. Easily second. Because or third, they're like, yeah. hey, I spent seventy grand on AdWords last year. Right. I got two leads. That happens a lot in. There's that one's a, happened once. I mean, it's not normally it's that not drastic, lot, but, but 
there's, it does happen. It's a yeah, thing. There, there was uh, there was a couple that were definitely in the one to two percent conversion ratio uh, that drastically needed some That's help. That's bad. There, there's quite a few of those. Well, anyway, through. thank you guys for listening in on our conversation about myths on lawyer marketing. Uh, we touched on social media, organic rankings, AdWords, and a couple other topics. One thing I want to add too, a lot of people don't realize that we, we do these videos every week. Mm -hmm. um, if you want us to cover a certain topic and go into more specific technical details, oh, opinions. Challenges. Uh, yeah, I, I want to do some videos on, on what people comment on. So you know, if you want to know anything about AdWords, whether it's for you know, a legal business, such as a, a law firm, uh, HVAC company, land, landscaping, whatever the case may be, you know, shoot us some of those in the comments. We'd love to cover uh, those topics. We'd love to make those videos for you and give you some answers. Uh, if you leave, if you message us like your email, we can even send you an update. Uh, or the easiest way would be to subscribe. That way, whenever we upload your answer, you'll get notified. Right. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, guys. This is Orange Slice. I'm Brennan. I am Dave. And as Dave mentioned, please subscribe to our channel or like the video. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Till the next time.